Ready to succeed. Season two, Raid Shadow Legend. Z. There's more than one of them, apparently. Uh, <laughs> they're at it again, edition. Um, so we've got our news in the game about this shitty, shitty, shitty update that's coming. Uh, they're also doing another one of these, which, look, they might be patting themselves on the back going, look, we're giving you access to all the epics, but they have, they have put these events right after a series of events that you almost certainly spent all your anxious in, and there's a fusion going on as well. So this is uh, a horrible time to do something like that, right? The summon rush ends, if I'm not mistaken, as this ends. What a load of bullshit, Larium. You are so ridiculous. You you are you are getting I don't know what you're doing. I thought we were at, a, at about the point in your cycle where you were supposed to be rolling back around to something good and you're not. You're just pumping out turd after turd after turd. They're also doing I think perhaps one of the scammiest events that they do, which is a 2x primal summoning boost that only applies to epics and legendaries who 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 in this whole game that knows any any better would ever summon a red shard for any other reason than to try to get a mythical champion what are you talking about man what are y'all doing it's that's so scammy y'all are y'all are being so blatant you're you're in your your blatant era right now of just like nonsense you're forcing people into live arena you're doing a 2x red shard event that doesn't have the 2x for the thing that red shards are for not to mention you can still get rares from them anyway which is ridiculous everything you're doing right now is bad <laughs> everything you're doing right now is bad stop doing all the things that you're doing right now and do something better do something else i'm telling you man I'm probably going to plug it a few more times, but y'all need to check out King Arthur Legends Rise. I, I, I heard a lot about it in the buildup and was really uninterested. And last minute decided to check it out. And man, it is. I've had a lot of people tell me it has fully replaced Raid for them. It is. It's really, really good. Man, it's, it's worth a look. And if you need something that's not this bull crap right now, uh, that, might, that might be it. I'll, uh, I recommend that you check it out. I might, if I remember, I'll card one of my videos about it at the end on the other channel or something but um, regardless and again i'm not sponsored by them i've had no contact with a developer i'm not in a content creator program it does me no good to tell you to go play that game but look everything that's going on in this game right now is aggravating and i, I get it if you want to play something else right now so worth a look one of the better games i've played in years so anyway uh, we're pretty much disconnected from everything that's going on right now. We're not doing the fusion. We're not doing that. Um, the fact that they couldn't even do it in conjunction with the summon event is is so shitty. Like, that's so not accidentally shitty. That's the thing, too, is like, it's none of this is an accident. This wasn't a scheduling error or anything like that. It's It's all just manipulative and shitty and shady they know they know what they're doing here right they know that most people are not going to come in and read the fine print they're going to see 2x red shard they're going to think 2x mythical they're going to use their red shards for nothing they know that's what's going to happen right the portal's going to glow red and people are going to click it and summon because a lot of people don't pay attention like that <laughs> they know what they're doing dude um it's only because we know what they do that we've started making sure we read the fine print on everything but name another game where you need to behave like that name another game where the summon the summoning whatever is glowing and there's an event and you think you need to be skeptical about it name any other game that's ever been like that what a what a weird way what a weird corner to paint yourself into um but anyway that's my little that's my little mini rant for everything that's going on in Raid right now. <gasps> we are oh, we do have a remnant summon. We did get our we did finally get our remnant summon, which I think we might pop today just just cuz I don't reckon there's any real reason to save them. 
So we're probably going to do that today. We've been doing, um, you know, still. And it's getting there. You know what I mean? We're getting there. He's, he's close to getting Warmaster, which will be handy. And Glycat, I don't think I've even added anything to him yet. But he's getting there too, so. At the end of yesterday's video, I put up the damage. We, we, we blew our old personal best out of the water. Our old personal best on this account was 53 million on hard. Yesterday, our first run with this team did 71.5, and I just decided to keep it. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm pretty happy with those numbers. We'll just we'll just rock with that. So uh, I'm, I'm still working on figuring out something for normal. If I can ever get the books I need for Glycat, get that A3 down a little bit. I got another book from Clan Boss, so um, I'm sure that I'm sure that'll go into the A1. You want to test it? You want to test it real quick? Oh no, we got it. Sometimes you got to jinx it. All right, so we need two more in that, one more in the A1. I can't believe you use a book outside of CBC. I can't believe you use a book outside of a chip training tournament. Saved you the effort of leaving the comment. Speaking of comments, there's been a few, um, talking about this in my Discord yesterday. There's been a, last few days, there's been an influx of people that are like clicking on my Free to Succeed episodes and then bitching at me because it's not a guide. Like, the one where th that was titled something to the effect of like Glycat is pissing me off. Somebody clicked on that and left me a paragraph long comment crying because they thought it was a guide. The title was Glycat is pissing me off. What J is it because you saw his picture in the thumbnail that you thought it was a guide? And then the one where I said, uh, Testing my fully awakened Seeker and Hydra. And someone clicked is like, again, bitching because it wasn't a four minute Seeker guide. Like, well, I don't know what y'all want, dude. I'm not presenting this shit as guides. Grow up. Grow the hell up. All right. It's it. Look, it's it's same same shit, different day. You know what I mean? Every day there's at least one stupid person in my comments. So it's nothing new in that regard, but. That's a new version of it. I haven't seen that version of it yet. <clears throat> so anyway. <sighs> yeah, we're, we're going to continue to grind Minnow. Probably dabble around in Curse City a little bit. I don't I don't know if I care too much. Still cruise at Doom Tower. I kind of expected us to hit a little wall in these waves, but uh, so far we've gone through it and we've ordered it fully. We have not had to touch anything once. I think the only thing we've had to do is redo this once. I think they failed this the first time. We had to jump in a second time. Other than that, they don't really even fail anything. Haven't failed any waves, haven't failed any bosses. We are cruising. So we are very close to our first full auto Doom Tower hard rotation completion on this account, which would be pretty dope. So um, let's let's pop this remnant summon, I reckon. I got an extra clan boss key. I guess I'll use it tonight. Yeah, let's do this remnant summon and see what happens and then uh, go from there, right? This only took us how many months to do? <laughs> could be a void epic. I guess I guess the the best thing we could realistically hope for here is a void epic. But nope, just an absolute pile of garbage. That's all. Took us like seven months or however long Curse City's been out <laughs> to summon a, a nice hot flaming pile of garbage. GG. GG. I can't wait to do it again, bro. Can't wait to do it again. Where are my next remnant frags coming from? <laughs> wait. Oh, we're on normal. I was like, hold on. That, that, that can't be the only ones actually on the map. I'm just curious about how many more there really are available. Are there, what, are there like 10 in each section or something? Yeah, I guess if you could clear the whole map, like we can on normal usually, these would they, they would come in quite a bit quicker. Uh, it took us a while though. <laughs> Fucking hexia, dude! Get out of here with that! All right. 
Mm, we're kind of just chilling in live. It, it felt pretty grindy to get up to silver one, and I'm I'm just kind of sitting here for a minute. I'm just kind of gathering myself. Uh, apparently, there's a thing going around right now where uh, some of the other content creators are recommending to you guys that you just sit AFK in the queue and get your wins easily or 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 something. Look, I I don't know what to say about that. I think that's kind of shitty to just leave somebody sitting for that amount of time because Plarium was not smart with the timers the way the timer system works so it'll take a you, you'll 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 hold somebody hostage for a long time if they really want that win um i don't know if the strategy is to force people to rage quit because because they're waiting on you or if it's the thing where after a few losses in a row you get a bot and then it's basically a guaranteed win uh, but i don't know it sucks that 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 even has to be considered something like that has to be considered because this game mode sucks so bad and all of the things around it sucks so bad like okay here's one thing in summoner's war which i believe was the first game to do something like this summoner's war was the first game to do most of this stuff honestly they have obviously a timer system the pick the pick ban phase is very similar um if you go first, you pick one, and then it, you know what I mean? You stagger by picking two until the end. If you let your timer run out, the next timer you get is substantially shorter than the first timer. And if you let it run out again, it's shorter. You know what I mean? So so that if, if you're sitting AFK, you're not, it's going to run through real quick. Uh, same thing in, in battle. You've got a timer for your attack. If you let your timer run out on your turn, you're getting a much shorter timer next time. To, to sort of alleviate the, the pain of people that do just go AFK. Um, I guess Plarium doesn't deem that necessary because Plarium wants you in the game. You understand? By any means necessary, Plarium wants you in this game. And that's just... That's really it. That's, that's why I don't think they're doing anything like that. They just... They don't care how... Even if you're AFK, cheese in live arena, they just want you in the game with it open because it looks good. Good for analytics, and the more you're in the game, the more likely you are to click on something in here and buy it. They just they just suck so bad. I feel like even though my my is Plarium actually a bad developer video, even though I said they're not a good developer, I still feel like I went too easy on them in some ways. They're they're just so fucking awful. They're so awful, dude. Man, they're just bad. So anyway, I'm taking a breather from Live Arena for a minute. And, and Live Arena might become a real pain in the ass now because apparently that's getting spread around quite a bit of, of suggesting that everybody just go AFK. Um, so now, now I don't want to click it and sit there and wait forever. I think I've only ever gone AFK a a couple of times usually it's because i click in a live arena and then have to go away from my desk for some reason for a moment um i try not to do that stuff i get it i understand you have to do what you have to do i'm not necessarily shitting on anybody that's doing it or suggesting it i'm just saying it sucks it sucks that that's the state of things and it sucks if you're on the receiving end of it i've been on the receiving end of it before and it's a real it's a real bummer. It's a real bummer, too, when it's someone whose account is so much stronger than mine that they still beat me. <laughs> when they go fully AFK and still beat me. It doesn't help the tilt meter at all. All right. It's, it, it sucks. Uh, particularly bad when I get beat by somebody that's not even paying attention. So anyway, um, you know, pl Plarium really just needs to... There, there's so much obvious stuff. There's so much low-hanging fruit to make this game better that they are just... Like, it's just bumping them in the head as they're walking around into the trees. And uh, they're just avoiding it. They're, they're making sure it does not fall off the tree. <clears throat> so, we'll... Uh, keep doing what we're doing. We're going to grind Minotaur. I'm going to try to get his masteries done. And... 
I think I'm just gonna have to bench Glycad until I get the books on him. It just ain't working out, man. I keep trying him in Hydra and he's just, I don't know, I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling it yet. Maybe I need the cooldown. I'm not feeling it yet. On paper, it looks like he should be great. But I'm not feeling it yet. So um, we'll, we'll, we'll get his masteries done. Hopefully within the next few days, we'll get him booked. Maybe we'll get a couple more lucky drops from Clan Boss, get some more Lego books and get him booked and, and maybe see what all the fuss is about. But like, if, if it's like he needs a nine piece protection set for me to actually feel the impact, that's kind of a bummer. Because it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while before we get something like that. So anyway, I guess we'll wrap this video up for today. This was a little interesting. A little, little more energy than I tend to have this early in the morning. Guess I slept good. But yeah, that's it. I'm getting out of here. Uh, look, don't summon your red shards. If you're a newer player and you're not familiar with the bullshit clarion pulls, don't don't touch your red shard, shards when the when the portal starts going, going red. Um... It's, it, it's literally just a, a, an attempt to get you to waste your red shards. That's all that summit event is. And, um, I mean, I guess you got to do this if you got to do this, but it's a real bummer that they positioned it the way that they did so intentionally, so obviously so intentionally. Um, but that's the big thing. If you, do, if you, if you haven't been around long enough to know better, make sure that, that if that portal's ever glowing red, make sure you double check that it's for 2x mythical champs and not something else because they do this occasionally. And I just think it's such a shitty thing to do. <laughs> such a shitty thing to do. But that's it. Pretty ranty video today. I'm getting out of here. Hope you guys have a good one. I may make a video in the morning. I guess we'll see how it goes. I probably won't be participating in this summit event because I have no reason to. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video over the weekend. But if not, I hope you guys have a good weekend. If you end up doing any pulls for the fusion or whatever it is, good luck. Uh, let me know how it goes. And that's it. See you guys later.